We're past the middle of February. And so in a couple of weeks, March Madness will be upon us. All across the heartland here, coaches are talking to their teams, girls and boys, that they'll be facing some decisions. And if they want to win, they have to dig a little deeper. They have to get fired up. They have to go the extra mile. Winning doesn't happen by accident. It happens because of deep commitment. And in those locker rooms, some of the players will listen and take it to heart. And others will do just the minimum, the least they can get away with. I did some high school teaching in my years, and always one of the saddest things I ever saw was having students who were intellectually gifted. They could achieve great things if only they gave themselves to their studies. They might get a scholarship to a world-class university or go into programs that are highly competitive. Now, they didn't flunk. They weren't expelled from school, but they didn't put their heart into it. They didn't give everything they had. And so basically, they slid through and never knew what it was like to really achieve something in academics. And more sadly, we all know acquaintances, sometimes even family or friends, who are just not generous of heart. They're there mostly for themselves. They are selfish. They don't give everything they have to the people God has put into their lives. So they're kind of even with the people they should love on the sidelines. Not really, not really committed to those people they share their lives with. And you know, the givers, the servers, those who go the extra mile, they know a blessing that the other folks don't realize. They're more fired up in life in general. They notice what's happening. They are consoled by using the talents God has given them. Whereas the others really never, never appreciate the opportunities in life or the true blessing that would come from being whole earth. I think one of the great values of scouting is that the young people gathered here in our cathedral are definitely, because of their activity, givers and servers. They're not on the sidelines. They're using their talents competitively, and there's nothing wrong with competition. It tests us, it stretches us, it lets us experience new things we not, might not have imagined, and especially new capacities we didn't know we had. Scouting builds up families, it builds up neighborhoods, it builds up churches, because young people involved in scouting have their heart in it degree that other folks might not know. Obviously, the gospel of Jesus Christ calls every single one of us not to be a little bit Christian, but to love God with our whole heart, mind, strength, and soul, and to love our neighbor as ourselves. That rather long gospel compares what Jesus has with just using the minimal part of the law. Okay, I didn't kill anybody. Okay, I, I didn't burn down the temple. Okay, I, I really, you know, fulfilled that minimum of the law. Jesus says if we want to belong to his Father, if we want to be on his team, we cannot be on the sidelines and give the minimum. We have to try give everything we have, 
heart, mind, strength, and soul. And indeed, if we do try, we'll know a blessing in this life that non-believers can't even imagine. We'll be living the life of Jesus even on this earth. And we'll be catching sight of the kingdom of heaven where no eye has seen, no ear has heard, or has even entered into our minds the bliss of the attitude of seeing God face to face. Besides scouting, another great, the greatest indeed, sign of that selfless giving is what we celebrate together. At every Mass, we hear God's Word amid all the noise of this world. We hear the truth in the scriptures. And then, in the Holy Sacrament, we actually stand before the cross. That one perfect, endless sacrifice of Jesus on the cross is renewed and made present in our midst. God held nothing back when he gave us his only begotten Son as our Savior, our Redeemer, our Lord. And when we go to Holy Spirit, certainly a sign of that endless Christian love, but it is also the reality, the true body, blood, soul, and divinity of our Savior enters our hearts and lives. We worship Him. We surrender to Him. We listen to His teaching. We accept His challenge. And we are part of a wonder that knows no end. So Scouts, Families of Scouts, all of you, thank you for what you do. But remember, scouting, as important as it is, is just the beginning of a life lived for God, lived for neighbor, lived for the values.